Imagine getting paid just for sharing your thoughts on products and services you use every day. With Survey Junkie, it's that simple. Click on the link in the video description to discover how you can start earning today by taking surveys. Two pilots flying a small World War II airplane crashed to their deaths near a Father's Day event that one of them had just spoken at. The Yanks Air Museum Chief of Operations, Frank Wright, 67, was on board a twin-engine Lockheed 12A with a co-pilot when it dropped around 12.35 p.m. on Saturday just after takeoff at Chino Airport, according to the Federal Aviation Administration, FAA. A witness at a Father's Day event at the museum located at the California airport was taking pictures and videos at the time of the crash and it happened right in front of his eyes. There was a shrub or a bush in front of me, a tall one, maybe about 10 or 12 feet high, and I had to move around it, and the moment I came around it, the plane disappeared behind it, the witness told Capc. But then when I got around it, the plane started listing to the left, very sharp, and started going down. The aircraft took a nose dive and the first part of the plane that hit was the left wing, the witness said, adding, that's where the fuel was I guess, and what happened was immediate explosion. Both pilots died. They were the only ones aboard the plane and no one on the ground was hurt. Wright had just taken part in a panel discussion at the event, the witness said. He was on the museum's flight team. He always had time to sit down and talk planes and flying with me, and if I ever had a mechanical question on how to solve a DC-3 issue he would always help, wrote Gary Stark on Facebook. He will be missed tremendously in the Warbuds community. Hunt for mom after her son, 13, found starved to death in motel. Mystery of how a killer murdered an entire family and then vanished. Girl, 8, dies after flight emergency while on vacation with her family. Flight from London to US turns back with all passengers on board for 9 hours. The other victim's identity was not immediately known. The cause of the crash is being investigated by the FAA and the National Transportation Safety Board. An official with the board on Sunday evaluated the plane, which was then set to be moved to a facility for more examination. The museum's Pops Props event took place from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. on Saturday with delicious food on site, a one-of-a-kind aircraft bar, prizes like a flight in the UC-40 Electra or T-6 Texan, VIP tours, photo opportunities, flight demonstrations and vendors, according to its website. Museum officials stated that the site will be closed until further notice as our family deals with this tragedy and we appreciate your patience and respect for our privacy as we navigate through this difficult time. Get in touch with our news team by emailing us at webnews at metro.co.uk. For more stories like this, check our news page. More, Moment Lori plunged into canal in early morning crash. More, wife sues for $1 million after husband died by electrocution in hotel hot tub. More, haunting CGI shows depths Titan sub descended. Privacy policy.